it's just basketball. At the end of the day, it's just basketball. But listen, you can, you can love me. And I know some of you hate me as well. But the one thing you will always do um, is, res is respect me. Like and, and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. <laughs> I hope you all are having a truly, truly fantastic day today. On this Friday, another Fanboy Friday. And LeBron James and his fanboys never disappoint. Uh, so... The Lakers organization is officially a joke. It, the Lakers organization is officially a joke. The NBA is a joke. Lakers fans, real Lakers fans, I am sorry that I have to make this video. But, you know, here we are. So, I made a video earlier today because I had uh, I saw a video with Chris Broussard and Rob Parker talking about the inevitable firing of Coach Darvin Ham that it would definitely be this week and lo and behold within a few hours of me making that video I started to see comments saying that he has officially been fired I go check out Dreamers Pro and 2 Raw and they have videos up about this and yeah, so good for Darvin Ham that he does not have to deal with the deer anymore. But shame on the Lakers organization, as this will be the fifth coach since LeBron James has been there. The fifth coach <laughs> since LeBron James has been a Laker. When did he get there? In 20, uh, 2019 or 2018? So in... In six years, five coaches, or this will be the fifth coach. This is utterly ridiculous. Let me tell you who actually needs to be fired. All of the people at the top, Jeannie Buss, Palenka, anybody who is at the top in charge of making decisions for the Lakers needs to be fired, along with Adam Silver. All of the people at the top of these organizations that are allowing these players to run amok and all of the people at the top of the NBA who have allowed the NBA to become a true and utter joke of an organization. So let me go ahead and start by saying this. So the Lakers fired Darvin Ham, right? Why, why, why am I saying the Lakers are officially a joke? They fired Darvin Ham after his second year. Um, there are rumors, and I'm not sure if they're rumors. They're probably more than rumors that the Lakers are willing to draft Bronny James in order for... LeBron James to be able to fulfill his dream of playing with his son. The Lakers should be a complete and utter shame of themselves for, for this stuff. There should be no way that they're thinking about drafting Bronny. They let LeBron James come in and completely destroy the Lakers organization. Uh, at this point, let, let me go ahead and disappoint you Lakers fans. I'm going to go ahead and say it. LeBron James is probably going to get a statue as a Laker. LeBron James is probably going to get a statue as a Laker because LeBron James has officially eroded the meaning of any of these things. LeBron James has eroded the meaning of what it means to be great enough to have a statue of what it means to be a Hall of Fame player, of what it means to be a superstar, of what it means to be a champion. All of these things are much more worthless now because of LeBron James. And fanboys, you guys are ridiculous. You guys should be ashamed of yourself for following someone who has clear patterns <laughs> of destruction. 
I mean, documentable. These are documented. How many coaches and trades have LeBron James been a part of? This is not normal. And yet, despite all of these trades and whatnot, he has four championships. And we're going to, it's time to stop saying he has four championships. LeBron James has three championships. That, that bubble ring should not count. At, it's really even hard to quantify how many championships LeBron James has just due to the fact of how he won them. Super teams. Suspicious circumstances. Bam out of bio. Draymond Green getting suspended. Andrew Bogut. You know, we thought we was about to see another thing with Jamal Murray this season. So let me go ahead and talk about this. LeBron James should not be in anyone's top five. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Again, I've said this. I know there are other content creators who has this guy top five. But let me say this. First of all, when if you are just talking about winning, he definitely shouldn't be in the GOAT debate. Championships do matter despite what they have tried to make you think since LeBron James has been in office. Championships do matter. And right along with championships matter is how you get them. That matters also. How you get your championships matter. So you got Michael Jordan, obviously. You got Bill Russell. You got Kareem. You got Kobe. You got Magic. You got Tim Duncan. All of those guys should be ahead of LeBron James easy because not only do they have the winning they also had the heart they had the work ethic they had the drive they had much more of a killer mentality lebron james is soft and and another thing lebron james has done since entering the nba is made soft made being soft acceptable In sports. <laughs> Being soft is acceptable because of LeBron James. Now all of a sudden, the thing that athletes got praised for the most was their drive and their mentality to go out and dominate. All of a sudden, now we want to talk about it because you can't quantify it and say, oh, well, LeBron doesn't have to have killer mentality. He's a great all-around player. He spends a million dollars a year on his body. It's so many things that LeBron James has diminished in the NBA that there is no way this guy could be top five. I mean, I make a good argument for LeBron James being top five while acknowledging all the BS that this guy does. Again, if you want to talk about his accolades, you have to talk about how he achieved those accolades. You can't just say, oh, well, he has four championships and he has uh, over 40,000 points and all and blah, 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 blah. You, you can't do that without saying, well, LeBron James went to Miami. Not only did he go to Miami, but it's not like we can even say he went to Miami and he just got two championships. No, he didn't get those two championships before having one of the most epic failures of any superstar in NBA history. That happened. Can't be erased. We can't talk about the fact, you, you can't talk about his accolades and, and stats without acknowledging the fact that he jumps ship anytime the boat gets rocky. Anytime the boat gets rocky, LeBron James jumps ship at the end of Miami. Why, why did he leave uh, to go back to Cleveland? Yeah, partially. Yeah, they say he wanted to go back and win one for Cleveland. Uh, that's debatable. I know that's what he says. But I think due to his history, it's more likely 
that he saw the decline of Dwayne Wade, <laughs> that he saw Kyrie Irving and said, hey, one guy's on the way down, one guy's on the way up. <laughs> Let, let, let me jump ship and try to get on the next train. Again, Michael Jordan in the 90, 1998 finals, he carried the team because Scottie Pippen was injured. Scottie Pippen had, was a decoy. Michael Jordan didn't jump ship because Scottie Pippen was dealing with injuries. He didn't go behind... Uh, Scotty's back to management. It was like, hey, hey, y'all, look, Scott, Scotty's on the way down. Uh, well, we need to try to get somebody else in here. I, I, I can't win. I can't win with a half injured player on my team. Fanboys, you guys are ridiculous. You guys are completely and utter ridiculous. Let me tell you something. Fanboys, um, I know that you guys can't be doing well in life due to the stuff. Due to the guy that you support with your every breath. You guys can't be happy in life because you can't be happy being unaccountable. There is no true happy happiness and unaccountability. Just look at LeBron James. You look at all the, the great players that have come through the Lakers organization. Uh, Shaq, Kobe, Jerry West, Kareem. Magic, Mike, and just, just countless players. And the one thing that you can at least say about all of them, not all of them won the same amount of championships, but they all gave effort. None of them were this crybaby, unaccountable, uh, coddled child that the Lakers are dealing with and in, in enabling right now. So you fire Darvin Ham when it's the people at the top that's the problem because they, the people at the top have let LeBron James ruin the organization. Jeannie Buss. They have let LeBron James ruin the organization. The Lakers is, is no longer a respectable organization by far. This is complete ridiculousness. And on that note, <laughs> we are going to do a couple of fanboy files in this video because uh, one of you it, it, one of you felt the need to show up in my last video. The video I put out today. So fanboy number one, the, the, the hooded one, he says how he need to get all the credit while being a pass first player. Jordan was a physically abusive leader. Fanboy, you are showing how soft you are. Yes, you. With, with the hood on. The gray hoodie. I'm not going to call your name because you don't deserve a name. You a fanboy number one. You <laughs> have to be soft as a ice cream cone from McDonald's. <laughs> Physicality is part of sports. Conflict is part of sports. Yes, you may get in a fight in sports. That may happen. But what Michael Jordan was, was a hundred times the leader your king is. The proof is in the pudding. Michael Jordan was able to win six championships with one coach. One coach. Six championships with only one other all-star player. That's what Michael Jordan was able to do. Your king has had, he's, again, this, this is about to be his fifth coach just as a Laker. Just as a Laker. Multiple players, multiple all-stars, and the guy only has four championships while accumulating six losses? And, and again, drop the pass first player act. LeBron James is not a pass first player. Fanboy, if you believe that, you are as ridiculous as the narrative is. You are completely ridiculous. Jordan was a physically abusive leader. Jordan won six championships. And most of his teammates, I'm not going to say all, because Scotty obviously has been har harboring jealousy for years. So is Horace Grant. 
but most of his teammates respect him and give him the credit because they understood that Jordan was harsh because he was holding people accountable. He was holding people accountable. That's what you have to do if you want to win. But fanboy, I get it. You have no interest in winning. That's why you keep coming over here. Because <laughs> you can't win over here. <laughs> you cannot win over here. I'm sorry, but I know. You have no interest in winning, just like your king. Winning is just this, this thing that sort of happens uh, once you put all the right pieces in place. Not once you work hard to better yourself. But yeah, fanboy, yeah, yeah you, you're just soft. It, it's okay. You know, one day you may come out of delusion or, or you may spend your entire life uh, as a soft member of the CFL. But, you know, <coughs> do, do it as you will. He commented <clears throat> on my, uh, are the Lakers re really considering drafting Bronny James video? And he says, do you dream about LeBron? I can assure you, fanboy, I have no dreams about LeBron. But I am on a mission to make sure that everyone knows that what they are doing for LeBron is not acceptable. That it is not acceptable to call yourself the GOAT and not prove it. It is not acceptable to beg for respect and not earn it. It is not acceptable to every time you lose, you have an excuse for it. You know what the you you know what your answer should be when you lose? Hey, I didn't play hard enough. I let my team down. I could have did I could have did better. We'll never hear that from LeBron James. And you fanboys are ridiculous enough to actually believe that that shouldn't be the case. You actually believe every excuse that comes out of LeBron James' mouth. Because I'm sure your life is full of excuses too. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, this other one is from the same video. I guess he's been bouncing back and forth. He said, this dude will find a way to mention LeBron even after the Lakers are eliminated. Truly obsessed. Again, fanboy, uh, whatever you think about how much I talk about LeBron James, you need to evaluate your life and find out why you have so much time to be in my comments. <laughs> when you know what's on my channel. You already know. I've told you. I told people from the beginning. I said, if you are a fan of LeBron James, go ahead and click off. <laughs> it's not for you. This is not the channel for you if you are a fan of LeBron James. But you spend so many uh, moments of your day, because I've seen you in other uh, content creators' comments as well. So what is your deal? What is your deal? I mean, are, are you hoping that you get to meet LeBron one day and he adopts you as a <laughs> as a little brother or, or maybe something more? <laughs> what is your deal? All right. With that being done, I, I'm going to just read some comments uh, from some of the viewers who support this channel. Again, you guys are greatly, greatly appreciated. Cannot thank you guys enough. Um, so this is from, uh, I think it's QQ810. And this is from the LeBron James will get his fifth coach video. And uh, he says, it really sucks to be a Laker fan right now. This is entirely way too embarrassing. Yeah, I, I, I feel for you. That's why I had to do this video. I don't even understand how the Lakers at the top, like Jeannie Buss, I don't, even, I don't understand how they think this is okay. How they think this is okay. But yeah, I, I feel for you Lakers fans. This, this is like, <laughs> talk about a, a parasite that has sucked your franchi franchise dry. <laughs> who who is tearing a glorious franchise to dust? I mean, yeah, but th this is LeBron James. You know, I, I will say this, fanboys. Here, here you go. Your king gets better at sucking franchises dry the older he gets. That's one thing he gets better at. <laughs> there you go. Shout out to uh, at that lamp though. 
He said, I said it before and I'll say it again. In James' defense, he does make his team better because if they don't get better and carry him, they get tra traded or fired. Uh, facts. I mean, I mean, this is this is the thing. Like LeBron James, again, you can't compare him to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan had no weaknesses. LeBron James is looking for players to fill in his weaknesses, and he he could actually find that if he was a good leader. See, the the whole problem is not just the fact that LeBron James' bag has a lot of holes in it. <laughs> That's that's not actually the biggest problem for LeBron James. The biggest problem for LeBron James, besides him being a shortcut taker and a cheater, the biggest problem for LeBron James is that he's not a good leader. Because if he was a good leader, he actually wouldn't have to be as all-around great as Michael Jordan because he would actually be able to lead the pieces uh, and actually make his teammates better. He would actually be able to make those pieces who could compliment him better and actually get a lot done. But again, LeBron James, uh, despite what he says, again, he's a politician. He knows what sounds like the correct thing to say, but he doesn't do it. Despite him uh, pretending as if he knows how to lead a team and, and pretending as, as if he knows it's all about putting in the hard work and blah, blah, blah. LeBron James is a person of instant gratification. He needs that instant gratification. He needs to, oh, okay, I'm trading, and get this player, and blah, 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 and it's going to be a championship. Oh, it wasn't a championship? Okay, I guess that wasn't the right piece. Now we need to find a new coach, find some more players, and, and bring them in, up, and hopefully we win a championship. Oh, we didn't win a championship? I guess that wasn't the right combination. Let's move on. That's LeBron James. He needs that instant gratification. Just like you fanboys, but you'll get no gratification here. <laughs> but shout out to At That Lamp, though. Greatly appreciate it. Shout out to uh, at Jermaine Grantham 588. Uh, he says, can't be the GOAT with this revolving door of teammates and coaches. Also, if J.J. Reddick becomes his coach, I don't want to hear he didn't play for a Hall of Fame coach. He he doesn't want to, but Spo turned out to be pretty great. Facts. Facts. I mean, yeah, let, let's get for real. LeBron James doesn't actually want to play for a Hall of Fame coach because a Hall of Fame coach it's going to hold him accountable. I've heard that they were trying to get Tyron Lue back. Tyron Lue was one of the ones who would hold him accountable. So I actually wonder how that would work now because LeBron James is more self-absorbed now than he was in 2016. Like he gets more self-absorbed by the year. So I really don't see that working either. But yeah, facts. It's like... Um, he has this revolving door of teammates and coaches. Like part of the greatness is consistency. Part of that consistency is having consistently the same teammates and coaches. Again, it all works together. You know, just like a, your favorite restaurant is probably your favorite restaurant because of the consistency. It's not just the great food because I think we all know there are certain restaurants we go to where the food is great sometimes, but you never know. It's like... Depending on who's the chef that day or, you know, I, depending on the number of factors. Some days you go there and like, oh, man, this is really good. Some days you go there and you're like, I should have went somewhere else. But what makes your favorite restaurants or what makes the restaurants that are five star restaurants and everybody raves about it are the restaurants that consistently deliver a good product. And that consistency normally comes from, from being consistent across the board. From having a consistent chef, from having consistent uh, employees, like that consistency goes across the board and it's part of the greatness. So if you have a revolving door of teammates like Ladeer James, there is no way to reach your greatness. And like I said, and when you've done what LeBron James has done, everything you do has to be questioned. I mean, really, if, if we're just going to be 100% real about LeBron James championships, we might need to start calling his collective championships one and a half. <laughs> he has one and a half championships due to the way that he won those championships. Collectively, the four, you can condense them down into one and a half solid championships. Maybe. 
But yeah, facts. Shout out to at Jermaine Granham 588. We're going to do a couple of more of these and wrap this video up. Shout out to Emoji Mr. 4427. He says, it's funny. No matter what coach Lakers get, they all have to play the outdated <laughs> system. Yeah, facts. I mean, we all know that LeBron James' the system is ultimately the problem. And because the coaches don't actually have control, most of them, they don't, they don't win. And here's something else to consider. Hey, fanboys, here's something to consider. Because we're not going to count that, that 2020 bubble ring. <laughs> that, that, that's over with. That, that's over and done with. Uh, LeBron James, all his championships have come with coaches who would actually hold him accountable. Actually came with coaches who would confront him and say, nah, I, yeah, you want to do it this way, but we're not going to do it that way. Or, or coaches who would say, LeBron James, you, you're not really playing great. You need to be better. But LeBron James chose not to stick it out with those coaches. I wonder why. Because LeBron James does not want to be told he has to do anything. LeBron James, literally LeBron James' career at this point has been reduced to complaining when things don't go his way. But the worst part about it is he doesn't even put in the effort to make things go his way. LeBron James wants to be on cruise control while the rest of the players <laughs> make it happen for him. Yeah, uh, fanboys, your king is ridiculous and so are you. Fanboys, trust me, stay stay out my comment, cause I, I I think I've I've reached my the end of my uh, rope with you guys. You, you you guys are so ridiculous and don't even understand it. Like I'm having a hard time figuring out how you look at the patterns of this guy and don't see a problem. It, it, it this is really interesting. Uh, first of all, again, sports is about winning. Uh, everything about Le since LeBron James has come into the league has been to change the way that we looked at sports for years. It's no longer about competition. It's about manipulation. It's no longer about winning. It's about stats. It's no longer about killer mentality. It's about being friends with everybody. This is the legacy of LeBron James in the NBA. Fanboys, let me assure you, I am not your friend. I am not your friend. I, I, I'm not with this whole buddy, buddy stuff. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And la last but not least, uh, shout out to at Maxine Canner, 5434. And she says, this is ridiculous. The Lakers been in shambles since LeBron been here. That's facts. And again, that, you know, I, I feel like I apologize to the real Laker fans on this channel often because I can't imagine what it's like to have your franchise hijacked by a parasite, by an imposter, an imposter for greatness. I can't imagine what it's like coming from having Kobe Bryant <laughs> to LeBron James. That has to be one of the most depressing thoughts in the history of basketball. <laughs> Trade in Kobe Bryant, give me LeBron James. Trade in one of the hardest workers in the history of basketball and give me one of the most self-entitled, oh, I, I guess he works hard, spending that million do dollars a year on his body, wink, wink, the juice, <laughs> allegedly. <clears throat> I can't imagine what it's like going from, from Kobe, one of the most skilled players to ever play the game, to LeBron James, uh, the below average superstar. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to everyone who continues to support this channel. You guys are so appreciated. I, like I said, I, I never really can thank you guys enough for supporting this channel. When I, support, uh, when I started the channel, I did not think it would grow this fast. And honestly, I started the channel simply because I needed to vent about all the BS that I was saying. I needed to vent about, like, why is the media continuously trying to sell me on something on this guy, LeBron James, that I'm not seeing when he plays the game? So, yeah, for all you guys who support it, who subscribe, share the videos, 
You guys, like I said, I, I cannot thank you enough. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, fanboys, I could care less what you do. Uh, you can never show up here again. It does be just fine. But if you show up here, you know what the deal is. You know what you're going to get here. It's, it's never going to change. So stop commenting as if you think it's going to change something. You comment, oh, he's a hater or all these things. that You, you know what you're going to get when you come over here. It's not going to change. Let me let me assure you right now, it's not going to change. So every time you come over here, you you look insane because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and <laughs> expecting a different result. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a truly, truly fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. All right.